Now that you're familiar with the law of supply, and we've seen how changes in the price of a product influence the quantity supplied, ceteris paribus, it's time to consider what happens when some of the other factors apart from price change. According to our supply equation, these are factors such as the cost of production, technology, the price of alternative products, the number of other suppliers, and so on. To start with, let's consider the effects of a change in the cost of production, PC. From our previous conversations about what determines the supply of fried chicken pieces, we saw that if the cost of production increases, the funky chicken will tend to supply a lower quantity at the same price. Looking at our supply curve, at each price a lower quantity would be supplied than before, and a new supply curve to the left of the original one is formed. This is a leftward shift of the supply curve. We can see, as we did with our demand curve, that any factor other than the price which causes a change is represented by a shift of the curve as opposed to a movement along the curve. So what happens to our supply curve if new technology leads to an improvement in our productivity? An increase in productivity means that at each price the funky chicken can supply more than before. So the supply curve shifts to the right. An increase in supply is represented by a rightward shift of the supply curve. And finally, looking at the price of alternative products, PG, what will happen to the supply curve for fried chicken pieces if the price of chicken burgers goes up? The owners of the funky chicken want to maximise profits, so they'll now try to sell more chicken burgers. But what this means for fried chicken pieces is that at each price, fewer pieces of fried chicken are now produced and we get a leftward shift of the supply curve for fried chicken pieces